Bitcoin has finally broke free of the 70,000 mark. Now, in today's video, we're going to have a look at what we talked about a few days ago and how exactly that's playing out. And better yet, we're going to look at exactly where Bitcoin could be going in the very near future. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not. Welcome back everyone to Buy Sell. I hope of course you are all well. Yes, new surroundings. Um, I might as well just comment on that initially. We have trying to be selling our house for the last six months. Hasn't quite worked out yet. Uh, another setback, bottom of the chain has pulled out. So for my own sanity, I thought I'd uh, change things around a wee bit. So I'm in a different part of the house um, for, for the foreseeable. Anyway, that aside, Bitcoin, we said in the last video, let's have a look at the weekly chart because this is a real indication of where we are. I feel the last time we had a buy symbol come on on the weekly chart was back in February 24. And from that moment, we then decided to push on as a high of about 60%, which was phenomenal. And that's when we seen our most recent high. So we've buy symbol coming in and on the weekly chart, the charting is going the exact same. Good candlesticks getting bigger as we go, which is encouraging. Plus, if we look at the MACD in closer detail, what you're seeing here is a crossover on the weekly, based on what we were saying there, the buy symbols come in and we've pushed on. Now, this is what I want to look at. We've got resistance here. A lot of people are thinking, oh, we've broke through. This is it. We're, we're pushing on. We've closed and done this. I, I still think we're, we're, we've, we've got a bit of resistance here to come up and you can see why. This is on the, the weekly chart. We touched these levels before March are at that level again. We have crossed above it and we have been rejected back down on the weekly. But a bit like what I was saying in the last video, you could look at that and go, oh, we're going to get rejected. But the momentum, this bit of volume coming in right here, see this, is there. The swing is crossing over. The RSI is showing momentum. So I feel that, yes, while this is resistance, no doubt, I feel like we've got enough in us to break free and that's on the weekly chart on the day chart if we strip it down so we can see here where there was maybe selling off and we talked about in the video we said eh, it's looking a bit flat could go either way from a technical point of view on the day chart however i fully believe because of the weekly we push on and we've done that and on the day chart we look very very strong but again a lot of people thinking we've broke it we're at the races mm, not quite there yet not quite there yet you can see that march uh, April, May, and then June. So you know you're going back five months ago now, really, from the last time we tried to test this. But what I want to show you is is slightly the differences here. Is if you look at when we touched it back in June. Now, while the RSI wasn't massively overbought, which isn't always a bad thing. A lot of people think that the RSI being massively overbought is a bad thing. It doesn't. It can show strength. It can show momentum like this. Like we are at these levels. Who's to say that this push isn't going to bring us up into these types of territory? This here area we got to, yeah, it sold off. You can see um, on the MACD here that it was kind of crossing at this level. It was kind of crossing over. It was trying to go down where this one looks a bit more bullish, more upside. I like the swing momentum on it. And again, with that weekly chart being the underlying, again, just to look at that weekly chart, you can see here crossing over where if we look back at these other times um, back in April, May, June, you can see we were on the downwards turn. This was already crossed over by this stage and we touched it a few more times. It was already gone. We were massively oversold, uh, mass, mass, sorry, massively overbought at these areas as well on the weekly. That's not the same here. It shows more upside. So again, to me, looking at those two indicators, that would be uh, a huge bullish thing. And then if we look at the four hour chart, for whatever reason, it's, it's not loading beyond this date, but it doesn't really matter. If we look at this, we can see, yes, we're starting to sell off. We look to be uh, showing weaknesses, but then we were down here showing weaknesses and we turned around and went up. We will watch this very, very carefully. The four hour chart can obviously change at any given time. If we even strip it down even closer to the one hour chart, we can see here we've sold off. But to me, that's kind of going, well, we're cool enough and we're going to push on. I. I'll stick by what I've said in the other videos and what I've been saying all year. I think this is probably the opportunity now coming for us to push on. I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight. I'm not saying it's going to happen even this week. I'm saying potentially we could cool off a bit, settle, but I don't think we're going to fall. I don't think we're going to go back into this channel. I don't think we're going to be sitting here into this channel and sit around the 55k mark again. I just don't think that's going to happen. We might dip and sort of test this area, it's like 68, 69. 
and then I think we'll rip. And I think that's just it. I've just been watching it for too long. I've been checking it out. I've been patient with it. Um, we've been in Bitcoin now for the best part of four odd years. We've watched the trends. We've watched the movement. Um, this is not a product placement ad, by the way. I was just uh, dropping the kids off and grab, grab the Gregs on the way back. But I truly think this could be it. And I'm excited for it. And I think the wider market's looking good. I think the Trump rally um, is pumping everything as well, which is good for Bitcoin, good for Donald Trump, which I've also got invested in. We've caught a 250% rise on that. It's been outstanding. And I think just lead up to the elections will continue on. So there's a lot of wider market plays. As long as World War III doesn't break out, I think um, we're going to be we're going to be in good speed. Um, so yeah, long may I continue. I will update you with myself because there's going to be a dump. No doubt about it. There will be a dump. And we need to be very, very careful on this. So yeah, please like, subscribe, help us grow the channel. If you want to get into the discussion group in the Discord, we are there. The links are down below. If you want to learn how to trade, there's also links for that. Apart from that, enjoy the rest of your friggin' day, guys, and come on to Bitcoin. Peace.